Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Drafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, we are at it again. We are obeying the mandate that Yahuwah gave us. He told me to cry loud and to spare not. To lift up my voice like a trump in Zion, right? To warn Yashiro and Yahuda. And to warn those that he has chosen of the grafted in Gentiles. To warn them to receive the witness in its entirety. Receive the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. They all must be received in Emunah. There is no Yeshua apart from the name. The name that Yahuwah has given to a people. His name, Yah Salvation, Yahushua HaMashiach, His Torah made flesh. You have to receive this witness. There is no Yeshua. There is no covenant. There is no covenant, Yasharal and Yahuda, apart from this witness. You, there is no covenant. You got to be sealed. You have to be sealed. You see, he's coming to gather the people, right? He's coming to a gatherer of people who has identified with this witness. Yeah, Yahshua and Yehuda, right? Amongst the nations who have received this witness. The Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, listen. Are you sealed? Are you sealed? Have you received the Ruach HaKodesh of promise? Right. See, because it's not enough just to be baptized. It's not enough just to believe in the blood of Yusha Mashiach to cleanse you from your sins. But see, you have to receive his Ruach HaKodesh, which is your Ruach Yusha on the inside of you, that sets you apart, that makes you his. And see, when you see the Ruach HaKodesh, you just can't do anything. Listen, when you receive the Ruach HaKodesh, you can't just do anything. You just can't say anything. You can't lay the grounds of repentance continually because His Ruach lives in you. He's made it possible for you to walk in newness of life. You ain't got to be... You should be repenting all the time. That's Christianity. That's Christianity. That's Christianity. You should be a walking in the fullness of life by the witness of Yahuwah and Yahusha on the inside of you. And listen, if it has, has a time, since thoughts, since ideas, reject them in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach and plead the blood of Yahusha. Reject them in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach and plead the blood of Jesus. I mean, Jesus. plead the blood of Yahusha. Yahweh, forgive me. Plead the blood of Yahusha. You got to understand that the witness is in the blood of Yahusha Hamashiach. You got to be established in the witness. Not Jesus. I know I said Jesus, but that's not what it is. Hallelujah, his name is Yahushua Mashiach. You got to be established in that name. You got to receive that witness. You got to be born again of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh. Yahushua said you got to be born again of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh. He, knows, he knew his blood and the atonement was necessary because as Hebrews, we understood that without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. We understood as Hebrews that we needed to have a sacrifice. You see, you have to understand that the witness requires of water. The witness requires the Ruach HaKodesh, which you can't receive unless you receive the blood, the water, and the Ruach HaKodesh. 
Yahweh, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Reign, Yahuwah. Reign, Yahuwah. Yahuwah, let the words that I speak be spirit and life. Let the words that I speak be spirit and life. Let the words that I speak would be spirit and life. That would be medicine to their flesh. And that it would be a lamp to their feet, a light to their pathway. That it would give light and get understanding to the simple. That it would cleanse a young man's ways and cleanse a young woman's ways. As they take heed to your Torah. And they live out righteousness. Yahweh, I pray, I pray, I pray. That no one be turned out of the way. By anything I say, no one be called to stumble. By anything I see, I mean, no one be caused to become a lame by anything I say. That the Ruach says through me and or through I, what I say. Yahweh, I need you to have total dominion over my lips and over my tongue. Yahweh, I give you praise. Yahweh, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Yahushua and Mashiach. Listen, freedom's win. The word of the prophet Hezekiah. Right? Babylon is falling. Come back to the covenant through faith in Hamashiach. Allow the Ruach HaKodesh to seal you until the day of your redemption. We made a deal. Listen, Yasharal and Yehuda. Listen, granted in Gentiles to the body of Hamashiach. Feast of trumpets. Feast of tabernacles. Without Yusha Hamashiach. Witness is vanity. Without receiving the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach is vanity. Without receiving the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, all that you were doing represents sounding brass and tinkling cymbals, right? You have to be established in Yahushua Hamashiach's witness. You have to have the water and the blood. Because if you've received this witness, right, then the fulfillment of trumpets, the fulfillment of tabernacles is on the inside of you. It's on the inside. In the lands that are your captivity. It's on the inside of you. Yahuwah knew this. When he took away your Shabbats and your feast. He knew this. When he, when he caused all of those things that we held to. Right? To be lost. Right? But the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. And faith in him in Emunah. Establishes you. In those things, in those types, in those types, those symbols, in those things, the Hushi Hamashiach is fulfilled in you. F fulfilled in you. Listen, am I saying we don't need to remember these things? No. You who will forbid when he says to remember them. But you better understand that in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you have been, you have brought it, you've been brought into the fullness through faith and even not in Yahushua Mashiach's witness into feast trumpets, into the feast of tabernacles, into Pesach, into Shavuot, into every feast. Because it's all in Imuna in this witness that we are established. It's all in Emunah in this covenant that Yahuwah has renewed with us in Yahushua Mashiach. Listen, if, 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 you ain't, if, you, if you ain't in the covenant right, of Yahushua Mashiach, then you, you, you wasting your time. Because Yahuwah ain't going to recognize you. 
Lean in his family. Don't matter if you're Yasharal. It doesn't matter if you're Yisrael. It doesn't matter if you you Kolb. It doesn't matter if you Yah y y Yahuda. It doesn't matter if you have E one B one A. If you haven't received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you're none of his. Listen, all you got to do is look at what our forefathers did. Our ancestors. Yahuwah did not, did not keep them from judgment. That's why we in slavery. That's why we went into slavery, captivity. Right? We didn't go into captivity as a righteous seed. We went into captivity as a wicked nation who, who, who got away from you, who was law, statutes, and commandments, and think that Hamashiach. We went into captivity. We went into captivity. Right? Yasharal, Yaakov, Yahuda. You went into captivity because of your unrighteousness. Those that overcome, overcome. Who keep Yahuwah's commandments and have faith in Hamashiach. That's the fulfillment of these feast days. Fulfillment, listen, and you know what? We ain't going to understand completely the new moons, the Shavos, the times, right? We ain't going to understand them completely until Yahushua comes and establishes his kingdom in the earth. When he sets it in order, right? Right? This, in this tribulation, a third of the moon and a third of the sun and a third of the stars are going to be eliminated. What's going to happen then? That's why you got to have faith in the witness of Yusha Mashiach. That's why you got to know in whom you believed. That's why you got to have the Emu Nah. You know, we, 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 we got we to gotta understand as the people, listen to the witness. Right now, again, I'm not saying we don't, we don't remember. We don't remember uh, 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 trumpets. Listen, every time you will give me an opportunity to blow the trumpet, I'm going to blow the trumpet. Do it so far. I'm going to blow the sofa. See, you know, I ain't proficient at it, but... Listen, every opportunity I get, I'm going to blow the sofa. Right? Because I understand who I am in this witness of Yusha Mashiach. I understand that I'm his in the witness of you, Shemashi. Every time I get a chance, I'm a little so far. But you better understand that this witness, this witness, this witness, this witness establishes you in Yahuwah's kingdom. And these shadows and types, right? Right? Listen, listen, listen. Another thing, too. Listen. Another thing. Listen. You. you you ain't who's got to understand in this witness that is given to us in you in Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, we don't we don't we don't approach a Pesach in the trumpets with an attitude of repentance. What are you crazy? You should already have established in yourself through the the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach the cleansing from sin, right? You have positioned yourself to receive the Ruach HaKodesh, and you don't sin. You don't perpetually, continually sin. And listen, when you do, the Ruach HaKodesh in you automatically lets you know, don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that yet, not now. Don't do that yet, not now. Right, see, if you ain't been meditating in the Torah, if you ain't been renewing your mind with the word of you, if you ain't been keeping him before you day and night, and if you haven't been fed by the Ruach of the truth, listen, listen. 
it's going to be a war. Hezekiah says, sings in the song, and then one of his songs, he says, listen, he has to fast because the devil is in his, just is attacking his mind. He ought to fast. He said, he go, he go, he go, he go hold the fast. <laughs> right? Because listen, and the witness of Yusha Hamashi, I listen, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't. I'm telling you, all it's church. It's churchy. It's churchy. It's churchy, right? Right now, listen. Can you can can you receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and turn your back on it and walk away from it? Absolutely, absolutely, and be lost. Absolutely, right? Absolutely, right. But if you have a heart to want to serve you, right, and keep His law, statutes, and commandments, right, which you can do. Because he's giving you his Ruach HaKodesh. Right? You will be able to stand. Right? You ain't waiting for no 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 time and season to pray to repent. Come on, y'all. What? No. The day that you... The day... The day... The day that you hear his voice. Harden not your heart. Come to him with a broken and a contrite heart, and he will forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. All sin consciousness, that perpetual habitual sinning, right? That only occurs because you don't put yourself in a place strategically in the word, the Torah, the Basar of Truth, with the with the influence and the, the support of the Ruach HaKodesh of Truth. So now, don't be. I understand why you was you know, only a few, only a few righteous. You know, only a few righteous, right? Only a few righteous, and you know what, Yisrael, Yashrael, Yehuda, you know, you some stiff neck people. You know, stiff neck to your own. Right? You're wrong to your own. And I ain't talking about y'all that done did wrong and done sinned and violated you who's Torah and violated you who's people. I ain't talking about y'all because y'all wrong and you need to repent. And until you repent, as far as I'm concerned, until you repent, there ain't nothing you gonna say that ever gonna make sense. Because you have not repented. I don't care who you align yourself with. You need to repent. You need to repent. Do your first works over. I don't care. Just care what you say. Yehuda. Yehuda don't care what you say. He sees you. Alright. And you don't get to me, man. Right? A man who knows that he violates sin. You know, violates Torah and has sinned against the people, right? Right, sinned against you as people, right? And continues to act as if it's okay, you know? He did nothing wrong. Listen, even if I didn't do anything wrong, right? I'm going to come and still repent before everybody. Let's see pride go before destruction. And I'm gonna tell you something. A haughty spirit is before fall. You you you, you gonna you gonna fear you gonna experience destruction. Oh man, you are you Lee and Ezra. Ezra's prophesying. Of the judgment to come on the arrests. And how judgment is reserved for the unrighteous. And see the unrighteous. Is everyone that doesn't keep Torah. It don't matter that you Hebrew. It don't matter that your, your bloodline is E1B1A. It don't matter. 
If you haven't been born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh, listen, and to be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh is exactly what you see in Acts. That's the pattern. That's what Yahushua did. Yahushua went into the water. He was a righteous soul. He had righteousness. He had, he was free from sin consciousness. He didn't need to be atoned for. And the Ruach HaKadosh descended upon him and made itself bold in him. He was able to do that which was um, beyond what he had in his natural capacity as a human. Because of the Ruach HaKodesh of Yahuwah in him. Set him apart. Yahushua HaMashiach was able to do because of the Ruach. Because of the witness. Because he was the witness. He was the word made flesh. He was that which was spoken from the bosom of Yahuwah. Listen, man of Yahuwah, woman of Yahuwah, Ezra was called to declare a word. Ezra was called to declare a word to a people. The unrighteous are going to suffer judgment. The unrighteous are going to suffer Yahuwah's justice for what they did to his people. Now, there's some things that these wicked Hebrews have suffered because they're wicked Hebrews. The wickedness of the nation brings suffering, right, due to their violating of Torah. Right? You know, you know, we we, 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 we we get it all confused. Right? We got bruised that we think, you know, that, that done things for the community and, and for the society and we want to lift them up and you know, and now all of a sudden they die. They wicked. They die. Listen, if they weren't declaring the Torah of Yahuwah, and if they weren't speaking to the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, and they died as Hebrews, see, because Yahuwah is only interested in the righteous. Only those that he has chosen from amongst the nation. See, the death of these wicked bruises designed to get you a wake-up call so you begin to recognize that, you know, you got to get things in order, right? You got these sinister, sinister wicked Hebrews that have sold out to Hasatan, have made pledges with the devil. Listen, and all they want to do is draw you wicked Hebrews in to Babylon's falsities. They want to make money off of you and build their worldly, fleshly, appetite empires. And you, 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 you move right to them. They wicked. They die. It's because they wicked. See, and all you who is trying to get you to see is that your situation can change if you turn to you. Right? Ezra understood that. Ezra went to the people and said, listen, this is what Yahuwah says. And they didn't want to listen. They didn't want to listen to the prophet. Yahuwah said they didn't want to listen to the prophet. Right? And they, they, they hated. They despised his covenant. His Torah, his commandments. We don't care about that. 
That's not who he is speaking in reference to when he's talking about preserving, gathering. He's gathering a righteous nation. A, a righteous nation that has faith in Hamashiach, which has given, which in Imunah, if they receive the Ruach HaKadosh, has given them the capacity to keep the Torah. You ain't got to worry about the righteous uh, 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 putting other elves before you. You ain't got to worry about the righteous not honoring his Shabbat. Right? You ain't got to worry about the righteous covering his, his wife's his brother adultery. You ain't got to worry about that stuff. Not with the righteous. Not those who have been going again to the water of the Ruach HaKodesh. Not those who listen to the Ruach HaKodesh that spends time meditating in Torah. Who fast and pray and seek the Most High? You gotta worry about them. He's coming to gather them. He's coming to gather the Gentiles, not the wishy-washy, believing that they can do whatever they want, right? And still receive Yahusha. You, you better get a clue. You better get a clue. There's certain things you got to come out from among them and be separate. They represent Babylon. There are things that you cannot do, Gentiles, because it represents Babylon. There's people that you can't associate with and hang out with because they represent Babylon. And they don't do you or mean you any good. You and the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. That comes with the standard of conduct. A standard of conduct. Just like these brews. Some of y'all brews think that y'all can cuss and say anything. And you know. And, and, and all kinds of corrupt communication coming out your mouth. You, you ain't pleasing you. Right? You ain't got the Ruach HaKodesh. Because the Ruach HaKodesh will tell you don't allow corrupt communication to come out your mouth. And when you do, you will repent. Because, you know, the more words you get in you, right, the less you're going to be fleshly, right? Less your carnality is going to want to resurface. Because, you know, once you make a decision, the Ruach HaKadosh leaves. Ruach HaKadosh is going to warn you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. And then you make a decision to do it. Boop. He go. He's like, you don't want to listen to me. I'm gone. You know, because I'm not going to share my temple. I'm not going to share the temple. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to hold the ruach hakodesh of Yahuwah in a temple that does not want to be led by him. He let you go. <sighs> wow. Judgment is reserved for the righteous. Uh, I mean, excuse me. Justice is going to be dealt out because of the righteous but justice is reserved for the wicked for the unrighteous he says it in Ezra he says it in Ezra the 15th chapter the fourth verse for all the unfaithful shall die In their unfaithfulness. See, you don't want to be faithful to Torah. Right? Now, you don't want to be faithful to the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. See, 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 see. See, see, this is prophecy. Right? Right? You don't want to be faithful. You don't want to be full of Imunah. You don't want to develop those things that's going to cause you to be faithful. Right? And you are going to continually, perpetually demonstrate unfaithfulness. Right? You ain't going to keep touring. Right? You're going to die. Point blank period. D I E. D Y, you gonna die. D Y I N G, you gonna be dying. 
because you is a you who is a law of justice and you know listen 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 you have to understand Christendom does not serve Yahuwah. They do not serve Yahuwah Lua. They serve the same L as the Catholics, the Catholics. That's why everything they do mimics them. That's that why they join the the, the this, this 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 agreement with the Pope, the Methodists. Protestants, the Christian uh, faiths, right, with, with the Pope, with regards to doctrinal issues. That's why you see these 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 wicked mega churches. Pledge their allegiance to the, to the, to the, to the, to the throne of Hasatan, the seat of the beast, Catholicism, the Pope, the Black Pope. I ain't talking about black. That's a color anyway, and I ain't a color. I'm a people. I'm a, I'm a Hebrew people. I ain't talking about that. They don't serve the L of Yahoo. They don't serve Yahoo Allure. They serve their appetites. They move in a Ruach. It's a familiar Ruach. See, because the Ruach of Yahuwah and the witness of Yahushua, when you've received the born again experience, I ain't talking about what you received in Christian church. I'm talking about you being born again in the water. They don't even baptize anymore. John, Joel Osteen just started baptizing people again. <laughs> he must have heard. <laughs> we can leave us they baptize nobody. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta put more validation on his ministry. He's not just a, a, a motivational speaker. He baptizes people in the name of Jesus. How can the wicked baptize him? Come on, y'all. Listen, listen. You, you, this ain't that. Justice and judgment is coming. And you know, I, I, I know, I know I have, I have my Christian friends that look and say, yo, man, how you don't say that? Cause you you ain't you ain't been born again of the water and the ruach of You you haven't been born again of the ruach born water and ruach kadesh. You don't understand the atonement. See, you can't even understand the atonement unless you know what the atonement was about. Oh, whose blood cleansed me of my sins? What well, what does that mean? You ain't even studied the acts. I mean, no, you haven't even studied. Uh, uh, the Torah. You don't even understand the process of blood and atonement. You don't understand the need of a high priest. You don't understand what went into the process. Right? All you know is you can receive Jesus. That's all you need to do is receive Jesus. Right? What does it mean to have his blood atoned for your sins? Right? What does that mean? What does that look like? And if it happens, then everything that I see and experience should represent a change in me, right? Because if I believe in the blood of Yahushua and know that I need his Ruach HaKodesh and ask him for it, and he gives it to me because he gives it freely, Yahushua says, listen, there should be difference in me. See, but the unrighteous, they gonna die. Wicked Hebrews is gonna die. And I'm not just talking about Hebrews of this nation that are in this nation um, uh, um, um, going through the steps. They super wicked Hebrews. Oh yeah, they super wicked because they understand the need for Torah, but they just, 
They super wicked. They understand that they got to have an atonement. They have to have a sacrifice, but they don't have one. They wicked Hebrews. They don't want to receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. They wicked Hebrews. And even if they do receive the wicked the, the uh, witness of Yahushua Mashiach, they don't want to receive the Ruach HaGodesh. No, because they're wicked Hebrews. I'm talking about them Hebrews that don't know the Hebrews. Wicked. Mom and them, cousin and them, friends, wicked, wicked brews. They gonna die and go to hell. They gonna, they gonna, they gonna die and receive a judgment. He said, fourth verse, for all the unfaithful shall die. You hear the word of you? Only people that you was delivering in these days and hours are those who have received the witness. That's why it's, that's why it's only a remnant, y'all. It's only a remnant. It's only a remnant. And listen, your guarantee is that you have received the witness. And then all you got to do is remain, continue, and dwell in him. All you got to do is be led by the Ruach HaKodesh. All you got to do is meditate in the Torah and be prepared to say and do whatever you was called you to do. And you're going to be, you going to be in that number. But you got to do it. Otherwise, you, you're unrighteous. You're unrighteous. It don't matter how many feasts, days you participate in, you're unrighteous. Doesn't matter how many trumpets you blow, you unrighteous. You better understand, man. You better understand. You know, you got people calling themselves Levites. Yeah, I mean, listen, we kings and priests, right? And this witness, right? I mean, Yahuwah has called us to be kings and priests, right? To serve, but everybody doesn't function in an office of a priest. Listen, if you have a Torah and you have a word, share your word, right? People want designations and titles, man. You who has made me a priest? What? In this witness, Yahuwah has established a people who will walk in Torah and keep his commandments and do them. The priests walked in Yahuwah's commandments. They were supposed to. And do them. They were to offer up prayer. And sacrifices on behalf of the people. But listen. You can't offer no sacrifice on behalf of nobody. All you have is a witness of you, Shemashiach. That alone makes you a priest of service to you. You have what you need in the Ruach HaKodesh to get the job done, to bear this witness. We going in. Now I left off at the 20th chapter chapter 20 verse of that 15 of that 15 chapter but I'm gonna start at that 14 verse and we gonna we gonna make our way just to just to kind of like uh, reinform of what's happening prior to this 20th verse right he says woe to the world verse 14 
and them that dwell therein. Woe to the world. And you know, we reference Revelations, the eighth chapter, right? Revelations, the eighth chapter, where there were events that represented judgment. The prayers of the saints had been offered up on the altar, right? And coals from that altar on that, on that, I'm not let's go there. Uh, verse, Revelation 8, verse 4. And the smoke of the censer which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before Yahuwah out of the angel's hands. And the angel took the censer and, censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. Right? And there were voices of thundering and lightning and earthquakes in the earth, right? And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared to send judgment or decree the judgment, right? Right? So, the woes. It's a woe unto the world the world and them that dwell therein. Woe to the world. Because it's about to experience the judgment of you. Woe to the world. Now the world is everybody on the world. Go to experience judgment. Yahuwah promises to take care of his people. Right? Now he says it. For the sword and the destruction draws nigh. The sword and destruction draws nigh. Sword. Destruction. This. I posted some pictures of Yahuwah's Hurricane. I ain't gonna call it Ivan. It's you who is Hurricane. You. I ain't gonna give it Ivan's name. I'm gonna give it Yahuwah's name. Because Yahuwah controls the elements. He's the dictator of the atmospheres and the events that occur in the atmosphere. Because, you know, we just read in Revelations. Listen, he says he casted it into the onto the earth. And there was thunderings, lightnings, and earthquakes, right? Which is a direct connection to Yahuwah's influence in the atmosphere. Hence, triggering events that occur. Right? So the hurricane, right? Posted some pictures of the devastation of Fort Myers Beach. Now listen, I haven't been to Fort Myers Beach before I used to live in Fort Myers. You know, Fort Myers Beach was a party spectacle. Spring break, all of it, man. It was just a party spectacle. Listen, I mean, Again, there's, there's worse beaches. There's worse places, I'm sure. But you would decide to bring the hurricane to Fort Myers and Ponta Gorda. Devastation. Right? Devastation. People received a warning. Some felt they didn't get it in time. Right? We got the warning. I just did what you had told me to do. I didn't leave. Because you had told me to stay. I trusted him. 
Tu bur bobolov mal. Evo da te i pur bobolov mal, i pur bobolov mal. Listen, you know, I also shared some pictures of that tree. Right? That was uprooted out of the ground. And I had a 70, maybe a 17 pound raised bed in my grass. Right? It didn't move. <laughs> it did shift positions. Technically, it should have been on top of somebody's house. Should have been. I mean, the youth of bubble of my house. <laughs> you see, because I'm the righteous. I recognize Yahuwah's ability to save me. Deliver me in my house because I'm the righteous seed and I'm in the house. I recognize how important it is to be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh to have Yahushua's blood cleanse me from unrighteousness. He knows that I'll cry loud and I'll spare not and I'll lift up my voice like a trump in Zion. And when he tells me don't worry about it, he wants me to see it. I kept the windows up and I watched it. Oh man, look at here. The roaring of it, the train-like sound at times. My bed is still in the same place. None of my stuff was anywhere other than where it was when I hung it. And I realized that I had a bunch of tools hanging on the side of my house. Still in the same place. <laughs> I had a grill, right? Put the grill in the carport. I didn't strap it down. It ain't heavy. Didn't move. Wind went through there. It went through there. Oh yeah, I know it did. Didn't move. Motorcycle. Right? Should have went on its side. Didn't move. You put a bubble in my mouth. See, listen, God, I'm staying. He has reserved justice for the unrighteous. He says here, for the sword and their destruction draws an eye. The utter sheer mass of destruction, it looked like a Bomb was dropped. And all you would do was send the wind. All you would do was send the storm. Washed out bridges. Do you understand? the judgment that is going to come to the world. He says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Everybody in the world. See, now you know, you know, you know, now his servants are sealed. <laughs> his servants are sealed. That seal is the Ruach HaKodesh. Servants are sealed. They have the earnest of their inheritance. Ephesians 1 and 13. And whom ye also trusted. See, I trust in Yahuwah. When he give me a word, I trust him. I'm going to do exactly what he tells me to do because I trust him. 
You would tell me to go and close the door and wait to the next I'm going to go and close the door. I don't care what's happening outside. You will put a bubble over my house. Everything will bounce off it. Glance off it. Bubble on my house. I can't worry about that. Right? Because I trust him. Right? After that I heard the word. He sent the word to me. I shared that word to me. When he gave me that word, I'm like, okay, you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Right? right? He gave me a word. And I trusted it. I heard the word. The word was the truth because it was his word. He gave it to me in the Ruach HaKodesh. I knew it was him. I know his voice when I hear it. Because I established through a disciplined life of meditation and of getting up early in the morning. Who told me to get up? I got up this morning. You would say, get up. Get up and dance before me. You know, and you know, I mean, I'm like, okay, you want my morning. Get out, go to dancing. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 yeah, you're holy, holy, holy. Look, dance before you. Praise his name. You who are you worthy of glory? You who are you worthy of honor? You who are worthy of majesty, power, and might? Listen, holy, 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 holy. Listen, I'm gonna dance before you because he told me to. told me to and then as I danced I prayed and then I then I had to read and if you would told me to do it I'm gonna do it I don't care what time it is you will wake me up and tell me to do it I'm gonna do it because I trust him I trust him right the Basura, the good news, the good news for me is that he was going to deliver me. He wanted me to watch and see how he delivers me. Right? So the only way I could watch and see is if I was there to actively be in there to participate. He, 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 he needed to show me that he could put a bubble over me. He needed to demonstrate to me so that I can testify to you. And if you have ears to hear, you will recognize because you're in this witness when an hour comes, when devastation and destruction is met for your community. Because it's going to come on the whole world. It's going to come on the whole world. He says, listen, he said, the gospel of your salvation, in which ye believe, and, and whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Ruach HaKodesh of promise, which is the earnest of your inheritance, right? Until the redemption of the precious possession, right? Until the praise of his glory. You gotta be sealed. He said, One people shall stand and fight against another, and the swords in their hands. War. Right? 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 For there shall be sedition among men. Treachery. Treachery. Rising up against authority. You see sedition in the streets everywhere. It's in America. You have it in America. Right? You have it in these countries. Sedition. 
They had China sedition. Taiwan. Sedition. And these nations. Right, he says. He says. He says there should be sedition among men. And evading of one another. Invading of one another. Invading. One another. Listen, you know what's interesting in America, right? right? America has gotten every nation right? has 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 literally every nation represented in the United States. China owns property. In the United States, Chinese have infrastructures in the United States. These Arab nations have infrastructure and people in the United States. They got sleeper cells in the United States. They have infiltrated government. And when the time comes, you gonna see it. You know, unlike us, you can't, you know, you, you, you you know, you, you directed all your energy against people you can identify because of the color of their skin, right? Right? But what about those that you can't? What about those who can hide under a similar nationality until the time comes when there needs to be a move or even evasion you think the government and the CIA knows every single person that is identified in the United States right and again the government brought some of them people over themselves oh yeah Oh yeah, they brought some of Nazi Hitler, Nazi Germany, uh, 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 and and them and them and them and them wicked dudes in the United States after <sighs> seditions, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes. Coops. Who is the cool leader? <laughs> uh, which country, which continent is prolific, pro prolific in establishing coups? <laughs> That's why she's going to be judged. That's why she going to experience hurricanes. You wait till that Yellowstone blow. You wait till that Yellowstone blow. You wait till that tsunami comes. Because of that earthquake. You better have a bubble. Listen, there's going to be only one in the city. He 
he says, For there shall be sedition among men in having one another and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. They're going to take action based on their ability to do so. Russia had an ability to evade Crane. Some would even say they had a right. Some would say that. Yeah. Ability to invade. Financial resources. You know, that's funny because they, you know, they were talking about how this war was going to cripple Russia. The Russia economy thriving. Uh, they want you to believe their sorcery TV. Because if you heard it on TV, it's the truth. Russia is about to fall. Uh, Ukraine has just taken, just, just taken back some places in Russia. Territory, recovered territory. United States don't want to uh, recognize a treaty. <laughs> Listen, man. They just want to have boots in the ground in Russia. He says, a man shall desire to go into the city and not shall be able to. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. He'll have no pity on his neighbor. Right? Right? But shall destroy their house with the sword. They're going to go and kill everybody. They're going to go and kill everybody. Right? Take what they want because they don't have food. And because of great tribulation and again you know this tribulation ain't for us in the sense that it's a consequence for our judgment those who have received the witness who have been born again in the water Ruach and Odesh, who has the Ruach and Odesh, water and blood this ain't for us it's for the wicked it's for the unfaithful. It's for the unrighteous. It's for that man and that woman who didn't want to believe the report. It's for the man and the woman that did not want to believe that they must be born again of the water of Ruach HaGodesh. It's for that man and that woman who do not want to come out of Babylon. I love these wicked Hebrews. They love these wicked Hebrews. You know? And they flash signs of Hasatan. They cast spells. Wicked Hebrews. He gonna die. Wicked Gentiles, you gonna die. You ain't gonna escape. You're not gonna escape. He says here, Behold, verse 20 says, Yahuwah, Alua, Elohim, I will call together all the kings of the earth. To vengeance, 
to 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 revenge me which are from the rising of the sun from the south from the east from Lebanon to turn themselves one against another I am going to use the king of the earth to turn themselves against each other and they're going to be they're going to be revenging me <laughs> they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be going after one another but they're going to be avenging me i'm going to use them to complete and fulfill my purpose right he said they're going to come from the south from the east, from Lebanon, right? And uh, and it's Lebanon. It's not this. This is not Lebanon. Not this Lebanon they got over in Israel. That ain't it. It's that continent way off to the to the to the to the upper right of. I think it's the upper. Yeah, the upper right of Israel. It's Lebanon. It's not. It says here. And they turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. See, you who gonna use them to come against one another to pay back them pay back them these other nations for what they've done to them. Right. He said they're gonna come from the from the rising of the sun, right? From the south, and the south is everything below the equator. That's 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 the best way to justify the separation of the north and the south. Everything south of the equator, right? And everything east to the equator. Right? Right. And, right? And from Lebanon. And turn themselves one against another. These wicked kings. These wicked presidents. And fight one another. And they're going to fight one another because they pissed off. Excuse me. They're angry and upset at how they've been treated, how they've been handled. Right? So it says, he says, turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. Right? Now listen. He's also going to use them to repay them for what they've done to his people. Right. His people. The righteous. Yashua and Yahuda. Not these wicked diabolical Hebrews. The righteous Hebrews. Like these prophets. These men of Yahuwah that have stood in the face of of righteousness and suffered. Right? He says, now listen, now listen, now listen. Again, you have to understand there's a difference between judgment and justice. Judgment comes because you're wicked. You go into captivity because you're wicked. Right? Right? Justice comes because you turn from your wickedness. You come out from among Babylon. You've accepted the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. His blood has now cleansed you from sin and unrighteousness. You've asked for the gift of the Ruach HaKodesh, which seals you, which now makes you a part of a system of dynamics that was once a judgment, right? In Yahushua Hamashiach, there's justice, but in this justice, there's going to be tribulation. Because some people that ain't establishing the righteousness of Yahuwah 
through faith in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, right? They're going to come against you. He said, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. Chosen. Right? Who's chosen? Right? Who are you referring to? Let's, let's, let's look at something. Let's look at something. Let's look at something. Let's, let's look at something. Uh, is it in here? Uh, let's look at something. No, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to narrow something down real quick. Right? Let's look at something. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way to. Yeah, that's going to. He says here. He says, uh, about uh, the branches, uh, Okay. Let's look at you get out of 15th chapter. We're going to start at the 12th first. All right. Yahushua is saying, This is my commandment. All right. That you love one another as I have loved you. Now, this is not the only commandment. Right. Somebody said, Oh, you know, all we got to do is love, and, you know, that satisfies the commandments. No. 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 Because he says in the 10th verse, he says, If you keep my commandments, and ye, ye shall abide in my love. So in order to keep the commandments. Is an indicator that you love. Right? So he says. If you keep my commandments. Ye shall abide in my love. You shall demonstrate my love. In keeping my commandments. Now listen. Even as I have kept the father's commandments. Because the father's commandments are my commandments. And my father's commandments are one, we're the same. I'm the Torah made flesh. Right? I'm that word that became flesh and dwelt among you. And, and y'all beheld my glory as it were the only begotten of the father. I'm full of, full of grace and truth. I was that word made flesh. Right? I was in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with y'all. The word was y'all. Same was in the beginning with y'all. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. The word. Right? He said, he says, so, he says, even as I have kept the Father's commandments and abide in his love, I abide in Yahuwah's love because I keep his commandments. You abide in my love because you keep my commandments, right? He says in that 12th verse, and this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, the one laid down his life for, laid down his life for his friend, right? See, because if you're keeping the commandments, right? You're keeping the commandments. It may require you to die. I mean righteousness. Right? He's talking about being prepared to lay down your life as I am prepared to lay down my life for you. Right? If you love me and keep my commandments, like I love the Father and I'm keeping his commandments, I am going to lay down my life for you, for this witness. You need to lay down your life for others, for this witness. Right? He says, greater love is no man than this, he laid down his life for his friend. Right? Yahushua has called his the disciples are there are his friends. 
right? But Yahushua is prepared to die for him because he keeps the Father's commandments. Right? Right? And in keeping the Torah, you demonstrate Yahuwah's love. Right? And, again, they had not received the Ruach HaKodesh yet. Right? Because the Ruach HaKodesh is what they needed to keep the commandments. He said, listen, ye are my friends if you do what I command you. You are my friends if you do what I command you to do. And I'm going to command you to do the Torah because I'm not going to never tell you to do anything apart from Torah. Everything I say is Torah. I'm the word made flesh. What I command is that you obey the Torah. What I command is that you allow the Torah made flesh to speak. Right? He says, listen, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth, I call you not servants. For a servant knows not what his Lord, his Adonai does. You don't know a servant. You don't know what he do. He just does what he tells him to do. He doesn't give him any information as pertaining to why this is being done. Right? 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 He does not have a, a relationship with that servant that requires that level of intimacy. All that servant is required to do is provide a service, right? You go to a job, right? Your job is to require, provide a service. You don't have to love the owner. You don't have to love the employer. You don't even have to love what you do. You just got to serve, right? So he says here, Henceforth I call you not servants, for servants know not what his Adonai does, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my Father, I've made known unto you. See, I have, I've, I've had a level of intimacy with you because I've revealed to you everything the Father has said to me, and I've given that Torah to you, that Basura, that good news, right? He says, ye have not chosen me, right? But I have chosen you. Chosen, right? Chosen you. I have ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, right? I've ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, right? The only way you're going to do it is in me. The only way you're going to bring forth fruit in this witness is through Yahushua Mashiach. Yahuwah has chosen Yahushua to bring a Yeshua. He chose Yahushua to be a sacrifice. And he chose Yahushua to be a high priest. Right? Right? Forever. After the order of Melchizedek. Forever. And a, a lamb. A sacrifice forever. For the sins of the people. You can't offer another sacrifice for the sin. It's been satisfied. And in order for you to have a sacrifice... For sin, you have to have a high priest worthy enough to go into a holies of holies where there is none other than that which was pitched in the Shamaim. Yehusha Hamashiach. But the idea is that he's chosen them. Through him. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. See, I pray that every time that I declare a basura and a Torah of truth, right, 
that those that Yahuwah has given to receive this word that the fruit would remain that they would produce fruit see 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 it's about producing fruit it ain't got nothing to do with me it's got everything to do with him Yahushua Mashiach right I want fruit you know so that whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name right I want to be able to go to the Father and say, "You, I need you to do this. Well, son, you produce fruit. So I'm going to do this for you. He said, these things I command you that you love one another. Now he said, listen. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay. I'm going to go somewhere else too. I'm chosen. The, the idea is chosen now. Right? Yahushua has chosen us. Right? Right? Now this is what he says. In John the 17th chapter the first verse, he says, These words spake Yahushua as he lifted up his eyes to the Shami and said, Father, the hour is Abba, the hour is come. Glorify your kid that thy kid may also glorify thee, right? As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that ruach and this over all things, everything, right? That he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Now, you should say he chose the disciples. They were chosen. Yahushua said that the Father gave them to him. He said, listen, he said, and this is eternal life that they might know thee, the only true Allah, and Yahushua Hamashiach, whom you have sent. Right? He said, this is eternal life. Listen, man. A brew. There's no eternal life apart from the witness of Yushamashia. Right? This is eternal life. That they may know you, Yahuwah Alua, right? And Yahusha Hamashia, his Aki, Akai, Aki, I think it was. Whom Yahuwah has sent. Right? He sent Yeshua. Salvation. He says, I have glorified thee on earth, and I have finished the work which thou hast given me to do. O now, Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which thou hast known before the world. Bring me back to the place that I was with you. I have manifested thy name. I have made known your Yeshua. For there is no other name given unto men whereby they must be saved. Yahusha. I have given them your name. Now, O Father, glorify me in thy own self with the glory which I have known before the world. I have manifested. I have made known thy name unto the men which thou gave me out of the world. I manifested thy name, Yah, salvation, unto the men which thou gavest me from the world. Right? You gave them from, out of the world. Right? Thine they were, they belonged to you. And thou hast gave them to me, and they have kept thy word. Right? Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Right? He says, For I have given them the words which thou gave me these three years as I ministered to them 
publicly and privately the Torah. Right? Everything you should talk was Torah, y'all. That's you taught Torah to a people. He clarified Torah to a people. He revealed Torah to a people. He brought back to them an understanding of the Ruach's power. They knew of the power of you. Look at the man stood by the pool waiting for an angel to come in and stir the water to be the first one to get in. He knew it was an angel of Yahuwah to stir the water to heal whoever first got in. They understood this. For I have given unto them the words, the Torah, the Besor, which thou gave to me, and they received them, and have known surely that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Right? Chosen. He says, in Ezra, the 21st verse, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. They persecute his chosen. At the hour of this prophecy, at the dispensation of this prophecy, the chosen are those that Yahusa has chosen, that Yahuwah has chosen. And those who receive the witness those who carried the witness and everyone after them right who received the witness were chosen everyone after that was that was born again in the water the ruach HaKodesh, who, who received the atoning blood right are the chosen likewise as likewise as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. I'm going to repay them for what they have done for my righteous chosen. To my righteous chosen. You who was referencing, you just referencing the righteous chosen. Yahushua is rep re referencing the righteous chosen. Yahushua is referencing the righteous chosen. Right? Ezra is referencing the righteous chosen that are suffering for righteousness. Right? Because the wicked suffer because of wickedness. They die. The unrighteous die because of wickedness. It makes no difference how young they are or how old they are. Well, it does make a difference how young they are. I mean, infants, is, that's something different. But I'm talking about, you know, it's how you got 18-year-old 18 18-year-old 18 sons died. Eighteen-year-old daughters died. Twenty-three-year-old daughter died. Right? On the way to the club. Gun down at the club. There's no yes sure for that. That's wickedness. I mean. At the point of which you died, were you righteous? Were you keeping Torah? Did you have faith in the witness of Yusha and Mashiach? You don't care. They, it's a wrap. It's wickedness. See, this is hard. Right? You know, this, this is even hard for Hebrews to hear. You know, this is hard for people in the witness to hear. But it's the truth. Right? 
Yahuwah demonstrated his care, his compassion, right, for the world. Yahushua is that sacrifice. You don't want to see the sacrifice. He don't care about you. See, because he done done everything that he needed to do. He he renewed a covenant with the people who, if they received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach and understand that he brand culture, they will understand the need for the witness. He loved you so much that he reestablished the covenant with you on better promises. Right? right? You didn't have to just keep a Torah without his Ruach with a sin consciousness. You've been delivered from sin consciousness. You've been given his Ruach HaKodesh to live on the inside of you. And now you can keep the Torah. That's better promises. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, we got to stop there. He says, and recompense in their bosom. You was going to repay. Natural disasters is how Yahuwah repays. Yahuwah turns nations on top of nations, against nations. That's how Yahuwah repays to establish his plan sets in motion to things that he wants to occur. See who it does. Man, if y'all want yeah, you gotta understand this. You gotta understand this. We actually got two verses. <laughs> you got through two verses. But it's okay though. Because you had a lot to say in those verses. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, hear the word of you. I'm going to cry loud and spare not. I'm going to lift up my voice like a trump in Zion. Right? And that noise you hear in the background, that's still my generator. <laughs> we still waiting to get electricity. But I am going to always go in. Even if I got to have one extension cord running it all. Two, three extension. I'm gonna do it to get the word across. Yahoo, I pray right now in the name of Yushu Mashiach that the words that you have given me to give to them, they would receive it at Emuna, that they would be establishing this witness, that they would be establishing this witness, that they would be establishing this truth. Yahoo, that your word would be a lamp to their feet, a light into their pathway. Yahuwah, that they would understand the urgency, the necessity of receiving the entire witness. To be born again in the water in the Ruach HaKodesh and to have the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, as the witness. Yahuwah, I'm praying that they understand it. But that it would make life, be, may, be made life to them. Yahuwah, in the name of you, Shemashiach, continue to lead me and guide me by your Ruach HaKodesh. Continue to speak words through me. Yahuwah, continue to speak your word through me. Continue a lot of words in my mouth, meditation, my heart be acceptable, I say. Yahuwah, continue. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, call the greatness woman of you, a beautifully and wonderfully made, today you was favored you. Be led by the rule of HaKadosh, Yahuwah. Again, we praise Yahuwah for uh, the Feast of Tabernacles. We praise Yahuwah for Shavuot. I mean, uh, these trumpets. We give Yahuwah the glory and the honor because he's worthy, right? He is fulfillment of these in us, in this witness. You gotta have his word abiding in you. You gotta have the Ruach HaKadosh taking that word and causing you to be led. You got to know his voice. You got to hear his voice. You got to discipline yourself in the word. Right? Because if you don't, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. And it'd be a shame. 
after all of this word, this witness, not to make it. With that, I say, listen, I love you, and may you will continue to bless you. His favor shine upon you. With that, I say, shalom, 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 and be blessed. The Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Yeah.